What's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna be installing a trailer hitch on the Dell. So, I'm about to roll the intro, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, so to get started, the first thing I did was remove the little rear garnish panel right there. Whatever. Because all I got hold of my red bumper in is those four bolts. I, hey, if you know from how far this car done came within the past year, you see the bumper is green, the car is blue, it's gray. This shit was a disaster when I got it. But here go the hitch. The hitch is a Kurt. Uh, 11724 24 for like a Honda Del Sol, CRX, Acura, Civic. It's a few of them that'll fit on, but yeah, I removed the garnish panel. I'm about to get the rear bumper off, and I'm gonna show you what come up next. All right, so as y'all looking at this right here, I done got the hitch just put in place based off using the bolts they give you in order to go in the uh bottom side right here. Now, the reason I did that is so it'll line up up under the bottom of the car. If I hold it flat like that, take the screwdriver, mark it, and I can see where I'm at. You see right here, I can adjust it and do what I need to, but I know that I ain't got this bottom one tight. But I got my spots marked. Now, I just need to get the holes drilled through. Little kids be like, you got games on your phone? <laughs> there goes spot number one, spot number two, and yeah, my drill is not going to get through that. I need to go get a different drill bit. All right, since I got the hard stuff done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive to my job, and I'm going to actually put it on the lift and drill from the bottom side, and I should be able to go ahead and get through the bumper. Once I get through the bumper, not the bumper, but the... uh little frame support piece back there. Once I get through that little frame support piece, then all I gotta do is just put the uh, hitch on. Look at that, sitting so low, I gotta drop the on pucks on here. I'm gonna get in the line and get it up in the air real quick. No cap, y'all. I thought this was gonna be a quick job, but I'm spending more time over here rotating these damn pucks there, just so they can get up under the car. Here we go, finally. Let's get this thing up in there. Okay, y'all, two things you should be wearing eye protection while doing this and also try not jacking the car up with the hitch in the rear because now I can't get to the hitch all right so here we go I got my two holes drilled I'm about to lower the car down in order to get the hitch out and then set it back up all right y'all car is back on the ground we got the hitch on sheesh it is perfect. Now let me get on back to the crib and we're gonna get the bumper on and I'm gonna see how much I'm gonna have to cut off. All right, you two, here go the finished product. It's in there, it's good. I didn't have to cut any of the bumper. It was already a little indention for this style hitch to where I didn't have to modify or cut my bumper at all. Like it just plugged right on up in there. All right, so that's the overview of putting a tow hitch onto a deal. So you like this kind of content, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't. Like, please, that helps out the algorithm. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed to the channel. That way you can stay tuned on the next stuff you see because the Dell Soul is going to be used as my little toy hauler for the Honda Grom I got. Now, that build is about to go crazy. I got a whole bunch of parts on the way for it that's going to finalize the stunt build portion and start the whole wheelie progression. So stay tuned. We're getting a little trailer for this next. Definitely going to get the trailer outfitted with the logos. 
So yeah, once again, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. It's going to be bike life. It's going to be Honda. It's going to be a lot going on this summer. You ain't going to want to miss it.